All right, so now we're gonna make some salmon. And open this up. Gotta look at this thing here. Nice. This is our salmon. So that's the salmon right there. I think I'm gonna cut it like that and have two pieces, or it could be cut like this and have two thick pieces. So I'm not too sure, but let's Let's see. Let's see. So if I hold it like there, and then just cut it, and just have two pieces. So see how thick that is. Nice size. Okay. Let me get this back on my piece. So now, with the salmon, I'm not sure if I'm going to. Thing. So now this salmon has already been cleaned and washed already. So just so you know, you know, cause I know a lot of people are wondering like, oh, you have salmon, but is it clean? Yeah, it's cleaned and washed already. Okay, I always clean it first and then put it up. So it saved me a lot of time. So right now I'm gonna use the fish seasoning. You guys can use any fish seasoning you have. And I'm just gonna sprinkle this on, on all sides, all around. Uh, you know, generously. I'm not gonna really use too much more seasoning. Okay. Now with this, I'm gonna take some cracked black pepper. I'm gonna need a lot of it. Okay. And I'm gonna make this jerk. So it's gonna be a honey jerk. We're gonna do this really slick. So I'm gonna use the jerk seasoning, okay? But I don't wanna to put too much of this on there because the sauce that we're gonna use is gonna be the honey jerk, but I just want a little flavor in there. So let's again, do the same thing. Get this all over it, okay? And that should do it. And then just gonna let that sit for a minute. Get this out of the way. And next, we got our purple potatoes. Now, with these, we could do one or two things, okay? Either I can peel them, which is probably what I'm gonna do. So, you see how they are. So, let me just show you. You just peel them, and you see, they're purple inside. So, let's get these peeled. This is not a good peeler, but it has to work. Whoop! It has to work for what we have. Uh, I wash these off because you know me already. Every little thing we gotta wash off, even though we know we're gonna peel it. But just in case I didn't peel it, I wanted to make sure they were super clean. Okay. So uh, let me get another knife. So now we're just gonna go ahead and cut these up. So I'm just gonna cut them into just red quarters. I don't need too much. That's it. See? All of them get cut into quarters. Actually, these are not bad sizes here, you know. But I just want them to be all uniformed. So just little chunks, it doesn't matter. This is really irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. All right, 
So this is really how you want to roast them, what size works for you. For me, I just want these into little pieces. But if you don't want it like that, do it all you want it. That's the way I would do it. And there we go. Beautiful purple potatoes. And let's see this here now. So, get these in the bowl. All right, and there you go. So now with this, we're gonna make this season real easy. I have some grapeseed oil. You know I'm a fan of that. Let's get that on there. We got some cilantro here, and or coriander, depends where you're from. Let's just break that up, get that in there. Doesn't matter. Um, garlic powder, again, just, I don't have any fresh garlic, you know, it's quarantine time, so I don't go out as much if I don't have to, not necessary. All right, get the garlic in there. And for me, I want a little bit of parsley. So this is parsley, not, not much, just a little. And with potatoes, I don't over season them. Um, let me go ahead and get my pink salt, Himalayan pink salt. So this is the Himalaya pink salt that I use. Put a little bit in the palm of your hand. And just take your time and get it over, because you want it evenly. That's why I just don't just throw it on there. All right? Get that in there, all of that in there. And last but not least, some black pepper. Okay. And now let's give that a good little stir. Oops. Good little get everything coated up. And then we're just gonna go ahead and roast these. That's it. Okay. Now the oven's already been heated. So here I have my skillet. That's what we I like to cook in that a lot. And you know, I'm gonna add just a little tad bit more oil to it. And a couple more cilantro. Okay. And then now I'm gonna put this in the oven for about, I don't know, maybe 20, 25 minutes. And that gives me time to work on everything else. All right, so I'll go ahead and get this in the oven now. All right, so now we just want to get it with a little bit of the grapeseed oil. Just get that drizzle on there because I'm going to pan sear that side. Okay, and just let that sit for a second. And we're going to go warm up the pan. So I'm warming up my pan, and this pan is a diamond bright pan. Okay which means that it can go in the oven up to 450 degrees and it just really handles the heat pretty well. So, and it heats up pretty fast too. So here we're gonna add a little bit of the grapeseed oil to it. Not much, I need it to coat the bottom. I have some butter that we're gonna add in there. I got some chopped shallots. A little bit of parsley. And you know, can't cook without the scotch bonnet. Now that scotch bonnet is just a favorite of me and Sherry, you know, it seems like I have it in every meal, but actually I do. But it's not something that you need to add in, in everything you do. It's just the way we do it. So we're just waiting for this pan to warm up. While the pan is warming up, look what I did. I just kind of twisted the salmon in the oil. See? Just to make sure that it's coated well. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and let this warm up move this pan around a little bit and get hot and then I just kind of want to sear it I don't want it to burn too much you know so I'm gonna go ahead and see you hear that now that, I'm going to put the skin side down first, you know, and uh, just, you know, like, like I said, with this, I'm not trying to burn it, you know, so I just want it to kind of sear a little bit, and that's where the skin was, and then as the pan heats up, I'm going to put it where it goes to the other side, so I can get that really nice sear. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let that just go for a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it. The reason why I'm turning it, I'm gonna turn it again. This is two times, see? Just to give it that little sear there. I want the same thing on the other side. And then I'm gonna flip it back where most people wouldn't flip it back, you know? They would be like, oh, I don't need to flip it back. But I gotta flip it back. And I'm gonna show you why. So here is where you wanna kinda get that butter in there. Okay, so get the butter in. A little bit of these onions, these shallots. Okay. Put a little bit of scotch bonnet. I don't need much, but just for some flavor. And then get this butter all around. Kind of want it to get underneath. And then let me get some of the butter on the, on the top of it, just to soak it up a little. And then, oops, didn't need to do that. Now, we're going to flip it one more time. That's what I'm saying. Oh, see that? Nice. See that? That's what I want it to look like. That's what we want right there. Nice little crisp on it. And then Take some of the parsley, get it in there. And let that cook. And then let's get this on there. Now we're gonna put this in the oven. Let me, I don't want these on top of this, so they'll burn on there. Okay, so we're gonna get that in the oven now. And let that go for about maybe 20 minutes or yeah, 15 minutes. Okay, so this is just honey, soy sauce, and jerk seasoning. And you just put like a couple tablespoons of each in there. And it's just going to be like this and have that kind of, you know, glossy. See, because I just wanted to coat the salmon. I'm not gonna cook that salmon in it. Just a little light coat to give it that flavor, a nice sweet flavor, okay? That's that. And then now let's get our zucchini together. Already washed and clean. And now this is just simple. We're just gonna cut these in decent little zucchini. See, so I'll show it to you. No better thing, just regular little slices because we're going to saute this up 
This is gonna go really fast. It'll take no time at all to do. Okay. That's that. Okay, so that's the, the sizes that we want right there. All right, so the zucchini, we simply just get this stuff up in our, in our bowl, put them in there, and take, break them apart from each other. All right, we're gonna take our pink salt, and get it on there. This is easy. A little bit of the oil, not too much, because you're gonna put some in there. Okay, so get bring the salt out. And that's that. Okay. We turn on our pan. Okay. So my little spoon. Let's get a little butter in that pan. By the time this zucchini is done, our potatoes will be done, our salmon is done, and we'll be pretty much just going to, to plate. That's, uh, that's warmed up. Okay. Let's get these in there. They, don't got, they can go any way you feel like. It doesn't have to be like this. I'm just doing it like this for video sake. <laughs> Can't go any way you want, no matter. Alright. Well, we look at that. So we got room for one more. Alright. There we go. And let these just kind of put down, they don't take too long. Down on one side and we flip them over, and we're we'll good to go. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes. Let's see. Yep. Not good enough. Press, but I like them. Now these parts go in the oven too. There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. Nice little colors on them. Okay, let's go ahead and let that go. Steam out. And while that's doing that, let's check on our potatoes. Okay, our potatoes, they look done. There's only one way to find out. Yep, look at that. Nice and done. Soft as could be. Delicious. Mm -hmm. The garlic. And the cilantro, and again, just coat it yeah, very lightly. A nice little thing down the sides. 
Okay, so the sugar from the honey is caramelized right around it. And there you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh man. I mean, if you really wanted to be crazy, like I am, now's the time you just take a little spoon of butter, a knob, and get it on the top. Just a little knob. And get it on that top right there. And then just give it a little. Ooh, get in there, boy. Mm -mm -mm. Get it in there. Look at that. And then just let that rest a little bit. Let it melt. Oh, man. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. Let's go see how this is. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Juicy. Juicy inside. Wow. Okay, not dry. 